What's up? Tragic Visions back with another commentary, and today I will be reviewing Madden 13, the demo, of course. Uh, the real game comes out August 28th, and on August 28th, you should not go to GameStop to buy this. Why? Because it is it's a downgrade from the last Madden. Um, they implemented a new tackling system. Um, the gameplay is way too fast than in real life. Uh, just an example here on kickoffs. Uh, I got the kick. I got the kick to about the goal line, and I hit him at the 25, and he gets it to the 27. Now, in real life, uh, the kickoffs generally don't even get to the 20, so they're getting five extra yards before I even touch them, which is pretty fucking bullshit. Although maybe maybe the Redskins kicker just blows dick and can't kick the ball. Other things I don't like. Uh, the yellow zones, they're expanded to make it look like you can cover more ground, but you can't. So, that's some bullshit. Uh, and then, they show the yellow zones again, and they're perfectly just like last game. They're not all lopsided, like ovals. So, Flynn steps back in the pocket, throws it up to this motherfucker. I don't even know who that is. M. Williams. Just, he just stands there for a clear five seconds, and he just jumps up. Nobody's contesting the fucking ball, but whatever. Another example of a kick right there. Get past the 20 again. Robert Griffin III is ridiculous in this game. Picking up like 15 yards right there. It's pretty fun. I mean, the the graphics, I, w I have to say, are better. The graphics look fucking great compared to the last game. But the gameplay itself is pretty bad. Like right there, the linebacker chasing down for an extra like eight yards instead of just going for the tackle. Didn't really understand that. Also, the commentators. Oh, first, I was I was going to, for a pump fake right there. Apparently, left holding left trigger and then tapping the the receiver is no longer a a pump fake to the receiver. Whatever the commentary. Uh, it's it's better than last game because Collinsworth is in there, but it's it's gonna get repetitive. I mean, I go play press coverage and the commentators call it out. I don't know if they're gonna be changing that for multiplayer, so they don't call out what the hell you're doing on the defense. But they they just make make some dumbass shit going on. Like, and what is that broken tackle right there? What the? F just look at all the movements that dude was stepping on the other guy. Uh, it, the movements are just like choppy and unrealistic. I have plenty of examples to go around here. Like right there, he just got pushed back for no reason. Just unexplained movements, pretty much. Also, you can like the guys just come off the block so fast. That was a ridiculous hit right there, but like defensive linemen come off the block so fast, it's hard to re you can't react and running the ball when when they do that at like the exact time you're trying to pass them when there's a hole, it's, it's pretty fucking tough. I mean they, I don't know why they would. I, I thought Madden 12 was probably the most realistic game that they had so far, and then they go and they change like fucking everything, which is pretty fucking ridiculous. Another kickoff return. Don't touch him until about the 30. Gets back to the 32. Um, and a couple other clips you'll see. They did change the speed where it looks like uh, your speed doesn't change if you have the ball, which I like. But once again, the gameplay is just extremely fast. I believe this is the play where I, I bomb it to Garcon. And you can see... First, the linebacker's looking in the backfield and not focusing on Garcon, and it's a man coverage, so it doesn't make any sense. But you can go back and see when Garcon catches the ball, his speed does not change, which did happen in Madden. When you got the ball, you were you became slower, which is not that bad because then it gives balance. So, like, the fastest motherfuckers in the game won't outrun everybody. Another problem with the, the demo, I know it's just a demo, but um, 
inexplicable drop passes. There were some in Madden 12 in the flats, but there's also a problem on this game. You'll see a couple more of those drop passes. Like that hit, what the fuck was that? Arakpo hit him with like his shoulder. He jumped and like hit him with his shoulder and that was, it shouldn't have been a tackle right there. It's pretty fucking ridiculous. But um, they did have his new mode that I, I liked, which also is coming out in NHL, uh, where you're in a league, like a franchise type thing, 32 teams. You can control um, you can control one player. It's like, yeah, you control one player. You can either coach, you can sim it, you can play with people on your team against the computer, play with your team against another team of people. Um, I'm not sure on the details of this one, but the NHL one, you can have like 750 people in one league, which is fucking boss. That sounds crazy as hell. So, yeah, I like seeing improvements like that from EA Sports, but I, I don't see much of an improvement from this game. I mean, they changed things that didn't need to be changed. So, yeah. In this one, I believe, watch the, the left safety. But right when I throw it, he reacts, he, he reacts a little bit before I press the button. Which I, I just see it as realistic, not realistic because he's playing a zone. Sure, he could have jumped it, but I mean, he also had responsibility for the coverage of the left vertical I was doing. So it didn't really make any sense. Just because, I mean, what I'm trying to say is he couldn't recognize that I was throwing it to that exact receiver. He could have recognized that I was throwing in that direction, but there was also the guy to the le left a little bit that was deeper. So, that was some fucking bullshit. Also, the offensive lineman on some runs. I don't know if I sh the the clip played yet, but there's a there's a cutback, halfback cutback. Uh, the right guard pulls, and when he pulls, he I believe this might be it right here. Yes, I'm gonna flip the play and then watch the right guard. He goes to the left, stands there, turns around, doesn't block anybody. Like, what the fuck is he doing? He's just sitting there in the backfield. Fucking ridiculous. I, I don't understand why they can't just fix the things that are obviously broken. Right here, I mean, I guess I just wasn't used to the fast playing. I don't know if you can hear the commentary, but right here, they just spike the ball because there's 39 seconds left in the fourth, and they actually, I guess, have a chance. He spiked the ball, and then one of the commentators said, oh, this quarterback's awful. He can't throw. His accuracy's awful. The, I mean, some of the commentary's definitely broken, obviously. Other times, the defense was obviously playing zone. I threw a pass to the left, uh, hit the guy in the empty zone, and they were talking about how they can't play man-to-man, -man, which doesn't make fucking sense because they're obviously not playing man-to-man. -man. There's a drop pass. That one that one was excusable because he got hit. All right, so that's all I got for you. Please don't get this game. They didn't work on uh, anything they really needed to, like franchise mode, superstar mode, which have been lacking lately. So, yeah, that's been Tragic Visions, and I'm out. Hey!